Good evening all, welcome to Greybeard Droning. It's the 11th of October, Wednesday 2023, back at Anfield. Been raining all day but I've waited as late as I can. It's about 6 o'clock at night, I'm going to do a flyover, fly around, see what's been done. I'm going to have a look at the seat here, we're going to have a look at the concourse but from a distance this time because actually the work is still on site. So I ain't going to go too low but we're going to talk about the capacity for Everton is there going to be any on that second tier stories have been being leaked from inside the ground but it hasn't been made official if you like what you see click like share subscribe without further ado let's get the journal And welcome back, it's Wednesday night, it's nearly six o'clock. I waited this, this late because of the rain we've been having all day. Um, but we're airborne finally. And it's good to see work finally being done at the back of the stand. With all those sandstone blocks all being lifted into place. There's been no sign of that crane today so it's bound to come back because there's a few more blocks to go in place just around the corner part there so finally work at the back of Anfield Road stand begins which is fantastic started this side so we can have a bit of a closer look there has been slabs being laid as well the last few days apparently I never caught them on my last video because I wasn't really looking to be fair so it's fantastic the jobs are finally getting done outside. But the biggest news that was broken yesterday on KC Imageworks channel from sources from inside the ground was that there's going to be no capacity at all on the second tier of the Anfield Road. But that's not official. Liverpool Football Club have not come out and said anything. Rainer Rowan have not come out and said anything. Do I believe the story? I'm just not sure about it at all. What can I say about it? Um, I thought the seats were going in quick enough. I've seen the photos of the concourse, especially the top floor one. That would be the one in question that the fans need. And to be fair, you can tell it's nowhere near ready, but whether it could have been ready for a limited number, I'm not sure. We've gone from the club being confident of 61,000. Can we go forward and go down a bit? To none on the second tier. Those lights look awesome like that, don't they? So I'm just... Um, I'm just a loss for words because I thought the seats were going in quick enough. Two weeks to go. I thought they were making great headway, especially on the seating sections. And then we've gone from workers um, letting stories out like it's not going to be ready. So I don't know what to believe anymore, to be fair. I really don't. I wanted to try and get a bit lower, but I'm not going to take any risks today. No. But all we can do is not going to be ready, it's just carry on. Coming out, doing the videos. I mean, I'm, I'm glad the story's been leaked by whoever it was inside. Um, whether it's true or not. We've got to report it to you because at the end of the day, it's your interest, it's our interest, it's everybody's interest. We're all following Liverpool Football Club. Well, 
most of us are. I know a lot of our subscribers aren't Liverpool fans, but they've been interested in in the build and what's been going on. So, but I'm I'm gutted. I really am. But until there's official announcement from Liverpool. I'm just going to carry on as normal. Um, so if there's not going to be capacity up there for the Everton game, what about the Manchester United game? Is that still a target? I have no idea. Absolutely none whatsoever. So I'm guessing that yellow crane will be back maybe tomorrow or the next few days to finish off the, the last few blocks there, like I mentioned. Um, Slabbing wise, there's been a few done further up. I never caught it on my last video because I was n I was never looking. To be fair, there's a lot of slabs, blocks, and everything all over the place. To be fair, especially right at the back. Just gonna go a bit higher, can close to the trees there. The biggest job, brick wise, is on this corner here, the shoulder part. I'm still no news for when the crest is going to go on there, but it's not priority, is it? We all know what priority is. And if targets are still being missed, there's nothing we can do about it. So if the concourse isn't ready, if the seats aren't ready, then It'll be done when it's done, I guess. All the platforms are down this end, so I'm guessing work will start this new week coming on these sections here with the brickwork and such. So I'm no longer going to mention about possible capacity in for the everything game because until this story is clear. Clarified about the concourse. What a seating. Then what's the point in carrying on saying two weeks to go to the Everton game? Are they going to make it? Or now the story's been leaked by a, a worker or whoever it was inside until it's cleared up by Liverpool Football Club or Rainer Rowan. We're just going to carry on. Droning, doing the footage. And what will be, will be. Safety Everton Capacity is out the window now. Is the Manchester United target out the window also? Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, there's still work on on the, on the, on the top there by the roof. Not doing a lot by the looks of that. Probably just little jobs. Been done at the, on, the, on, the, on the roof, but just a shame I can't get any closer. But I'm not going to take any risks, not when there's workers on site. But I'm just the same as all you guys. I'm eager to see this ground, the stand rather, all completed, filled with capacity. Match day in, match day out, every single week. But the wait will go on. For how long, nobody knows. Just got Craig's Adventures to the right, right of me. Hi guys, okay. Met him in the car park doing his footage, so I'll be up later tonight. 
I'm not probably going to wrap up my footage because nothing else to report really. So when will the concourse be ready by? Nobody knows. I'm going to leave it there everyone. If you like what you saw, click like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next update. Take care all.